Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So for today's video, I have a makeup tutorial on this look right here. And I am just really loving this look. I think the colors are so appropriate for fall. And I think it's just a really nice and bold look for Thanksgiving. So if you guys aren't interested on how I achieve this look, just please keep watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is put some tape on my eyes because I want my eyeshadow to come out really neat and that way I don't have to worry about, you know, my blending and all that stuff. But you have to be really precise and careful as to how you place your tape because then you can come out with uneven eyes and who wants that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I got the tape on pretty even. I look pretty silly right now, but that's okay. I'm going to use some concealer as my eyeshadow primer and this is the naked skin concealer okay so now we're going to jump into the eyes and i am going to use my sigma tapered blending brush which is the e40 and i'm going to grab the color naked and I'm just going to work that into my crease as the transition color. Well, as an all-over color, basically. I'm going to put it all over my crease and all over the lid. Just all over my eye as a base color. Because I am going to go in with another color to darken it up. Now I'm going to go in with the color Buck. And I'm going to go right over that color that we just put, which was Naked. And this is just going to deepen up the crease and give more depth. And you just want to blend those colors in. And once most of the color is off of the brush, I just bring it into the inner corner. I really want my eyes to be nice and smoky. So I want to just build up that color really well. And it's better to go little by little than to just grab a lot of product and then it turns out a little bit too much. So I just like to build it up as I go. Okay, that's pretty good. Now with my Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm going to grab the color Hustle. And I'm gonna put that right underneath um, the color, what did we just use, Buck? Um, basically like in the little socket. And I'm just going to pack it on there to further darken up this outer corner. And basically just work in like a V shape. Until you get the darkness that you want to get. And of course, then in windshield wiper motions, you just blend that back and forth. I also like to bring it into the inner corner once there's less product on the brush. Now to further deepen up that outer corner, I'm going to grab the color Creep. I'm just gonna basically like outline that outer V. Now I want to add some nice sparkle to the eye. So I'm going to use Max Pigment in the color Tan. I'm going to spray my brush with some setting spray just so that it picks up a lot more product and puts it on very metallic-y. You got to be careful because you can get a lot of fallout with this. So I'm going to just pat this all over the lid. Now I want to deepen up my crease a little bit more. So I'm going to grab more of that color Hustle. And I'm going to go back into the crease and just blend the pigment and this color together. 
So to highlight, I am going to grab the color Virgin from the palette. And now I am going to line my eye. And I'm going to be using the Stila Stay All Day liquid eyeliner. I have the worst hands when it comes to this. They shake like nobody's business. Okay guys, so I finished this one eye and I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and I will be right back because you guys don't need to see that again. Okay guys, so both eyes are done and they came out pretty even I would say. So now we are going to move on to the rest of the face and then I will finish up the bottom of my eyes. So to prime my face, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is the Mattifying Primer. And I'm just going to go ahead and take some of that and dab this on my face. I like to press it in as opposed to, you know, just swiping it. I like to press it in on my nose and on my the top of my cheeks because that's where I have the most pore issues. And, then and now for foundation, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, which I have been loving lately. And I am so excited because I'm going to be using this brush for the first time. It's brand spankin' new. And it is my Morphe M439 brush. And it's just so chubby and so fat and dense and soft. And I am very excited to be using it. Um, so hopefully it blends out this foundation really well. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze two and a half pumps of this foundation, which is what I typically have been using to cover my whole face. I don't know how this brush is gonna blend out the foundation. Hopefully it blends it out good. Um, if I feel like I need more, I will add more. So I'm just going to press this along my face. I like to press first and then, you know, I swipe it. Because sometimes you can get some streaking if you just go ahead and start swiping from the get-go. So I like to dab it in and get all that product in my face. And then I go ahead and start. Okay, this brush feels so soft. Holy cow. And it's blending out the foundation so beautiful. It's like an airbrushed finish. I am loving it. Okay, so my foundation is on. Next thing is concealing these crazy under eyes. I have so many issues with these under eyes of mine. Girl gets no sleep. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Cream Concealer. And I just like to put this right in these corners of my eye where I have the most like dark circle issues. And this is a very, very thick concealer. So a little bit goes a long way. And I like to use it, I like to apply it with my finger because it just melts it away the best as opposed to using a brush or a beauty blender or something like that. I just rather use my finger. And a little goes a very, very long way. And I go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer and I apply this in a v-shape and I'm going to blend that out with the beauty blender it might look a little bit crazy right now but don't be afraid it all works out at the end I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this all out and I will be right back. Okay guys, so that's all blended out. Now I need to set my under eye area because 
you don't want no creasing going on so I'm going to be using my banana powder this powder is so like thin and it is very powdery like it gets all over the place but I really like it I really have been enjoying it I've been using it for quite some time now I like that it's so lightweight I just dab before I put the powder in case there was any creasing going on get that out the way now I'm going to set the rest of my face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be using the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush. Okay guys, so now we can finish up the eyes. Um, but I forgot to bring my eyeliner, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm going to be lining my eyes with my L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. And I'm going to line it, and then I'm just gonna smudge that out because I want my eyes to be very smoky. Okay. This liner is so freaking creamy, like so creamy and so black. It's definitely intense. I highly recommend this eyeliner. I don't know how much it costs, but it's freaking awesome. So I'm going to, no, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to smudge that out with this crown brush. <laughs> Now I am going to go back into the Naked palette and I am going to be using my Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going to grab the color Hustle and I'm just going to go over that black liner with this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my other eye. And okay guys, so I went ahead and finished my other eye and then I also applied my, ma my mascara. And for my top lashes, I used my Urban Decay Perversion Bigger, Blacker and Batter Mascara and I applied two coats of this. And then for the bottom lashes, I used my MAC Extended Play Lash, which is everything. And I also put two coats of that because I wanted my eyes to look very dramatic. And of course, if you wanted them to look like extra, extra dramatic, you would apply falsies. But I'm not really about that falsy like. So I just like to apply two or three coats. I'm going to bronze up with my Makeup Forever Pro, Bron Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer in the color 35L. If I could just open it. Okay. <laughs> I want something very subtle since my eyes are very dramatic um, I just want like a little tint of color and I am also very excited to be using this brush and this is um, also new it's the first time I'm using it and it's the Morphe E4 brush and this brush it just looks so fancy and just so amazing like I have never been like so in love with a brush like I like I am with this one um, I have issues it's just such a pretty brush I really love it so let's use it so for blush I'm going to just use this color right here I don't know what color this is I have to take it out of the palette and I will just put it in the description box down below and now for that highlight I'm going to be using Jaclyn Hill's um, champagne pop
and I'm using the elf crease brush to highlight my tear duct which I mentioned before that I really love okay guys so now on to the lips I am going to give you guys two options of lip um, for those of you who like the whole bold look I'm going to show you a bold lip and then I'm going to show you a more toned down lip as well so for the bolder look I am going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick in sad girl Okay guys, so this is the option with a bold lip. This is really nice. I really like it. I would definitely rock this look like this. Um, but then, you know, some people don't like to do the bold eyes and the bold lips. So you can go for a more neutral lip. 